Welcome back to Florida, everybody. It's 900 degrees outside. Whoa, is it hot. We did notice while we were in Ireland that we were eating much healthier because everything over there is so organic and, and wonderful. And everything over here is so processed and all that other stuff. So our challenge today is to find food in America that is not processed like it is, or not processed. I don't know if we actually did it or not. We may have. Probably not though, because everything that we looked at was like enriched wheat flour. We took everything out and then put everything back in for you. Therefore, it's healthy. No. First day back from vacation is always the weirdest because you're like cleaning the house and putting away all your clothes and you don't really do anything all day. So we decided to make cauliflower for the first time. Cauliflower? Man, does it make a mess. Oh, joys. I decided to run away from the cauliflower and stick to this. Whoa! Ew. As we were cutting up the cauliflower, we looked at it and I go, what? what is cauliflower? Like, what is that? It doesn't look like leaves or flowers or anything. It's just like a, like a growth of something. Surely there isn't anything like grilling out in the hot Florida sunshine with only the slightest. Oh, no, it's gonna rain. Seems to be getting mighty dangerous out here but it's all worth it for the chicken. Mm -hmm. Really hoping that at some point while I was talking to you guys, lightning was gonna strike behind me, not me, behind me, or like thunder or something, but nothing's happening. And as soon as I turn off the camera, huge thunderclap is gonna happen, I know it. Okay, I'm turning off the camera now. It wasn't very huge, it was kind of minuscule. And now we have begun showing a slideshow to Jen's friend Valerie of our trip to Ireland and boy is it exciting. I can't wait to like, we sh there's only like 300 pictures in this one. I want one with like thousands of pictures and I want to bore somebody to death and it's going to be awesome. Oh wow, that is absolutely 100% the first time that that has ever happened to me. Uh, we sat down to watch the slideshow. I showed you guys we were watching the slideshow and then BAM! I was asleep like dead asleep and Jen even's like hey do you want to want to go to bed and I was like Ugh, yeah and then like she she walked me into the bedroom but I don't remember going into the bedroom I just remember magically being on the bed and then she's like hey you have to you have to like get your pajamas on and like take your contacts out and I was like Ugh. and I was like I just need to wait for just one second and then I was like, okay, got to get up, take out my contacts. Took out my contacts, came back over, laid in the bed, and I was like, just passed out. I had, the only thing that I can attribute that to is jet lag, because that's ridiculous. It's the only time, I mean, it's never happened to me. So that's why we didn't have a vlog up last night. But I was thinking, because I uploaded four of them yesterday, and I was kind of like trying to figure it out, like maybe I could start a new schedule, because I don't, <laughs> you guys might not know this or not, but... I have not been getting very much sleep while I've been editing the vlogs late at night because what I'll do is I'll, I'll wake up 6, 5 or 6 a.m., right, depending on what I have to do that day. Today, 8 because I, I don't have anything. I have some paperwork to do at home. But I'll wake up at 5, I'll go to work, come home at you know 6, eat dinner, start recording the vlog. I'll record from maybe like 7 till 9 try to start editing at 9, edit from 9 until 10, start the upload from 10 until 11, and then make sure that all the ads and stuff are working, and then start getting ready for bed, not getting ready, not getting into bed until midnight. So I'll get, on average, about 5 or 6 hours of sleep a night, sometimes less. So I was thinking if I could just edit from 9 until 10, and then go to sleep, and then set the upload tomorrow, the next morning for like, you know, three o'clock in the afternoon, that would make it so much better for me. And actually, that's prime time for YouTube. I don't know if you guys have ever noticed this, but a lot of YouTubers try to upload around three. Something about it that makes it so that it's like prime time for people to watch the videos. And I know that we have a lot of people in the UK and that's kind of like a funny time for them, but it's really not. It's like 11 in the afternoon. That's perfect. Excuse me, 11 in the afternoon, 10 in the morning. My bad. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna try it for like a week or so. Mm. I mean, I'm kind of in control here, so <laughs> we're trying it for a week. We'll see how it goes. What I'll do is I'll edit 10, 9 to 10, 10 to 11, something like that, and I'll set the upload in the morning as soon as I wake up to go public at 3, right on, right on the dot. So if you guys look for my videos around 3 o'clock every afternoon, they will be there, as long as the YouTube uploading setting unprivating thing works 
correctly. We'll see. But that's what it's going to be. So I'll see you guys today, tomorrow, and now it's time to pay the price.